Hey everybody, Rod Rothwell from MyBusinessStories.com. I'm here with Adam O'Neill, co-founder and CEO of AsiaAdvisory.com. And we're obviously here in Son Yun Kyo, in near Yoido. And just see Yoido in the background there. Fantastic day in Seoul. And what we're going to talk about today is a story, it's around a changing industry and how you can create that. So, um, so ten, 10 years ago, uh, the way that, it, that uh, tourism companies sold um, was through trade shows. Right. Uh, so they'd go to a trade show, they'd mm -hmm. do face to face meetings, yep. they'd do a short sort of business pitch, yep. um, exchange business cards, and then hope that they could list their tourism product to sell to overseas. Sounds pretty tough. Tourists. So it's a very manual process. Um, it's pretty intense, like yep. face to face meetings, and some of the industry still operates this way. Uh, but then back in 2014, when I was working with Tourism Australia, uh -huh. the market and the way that tourism companies sold themselves was really starting to change. Right. Ways. First of all, the yep. emergence of online travel agents. Right. Second, um, social media giving more transparency and inspiration to all the right. way that people planned and uh, and actually uh, qualified their, their their bookings. Okay, so online agencies. Yep. Online. So online agencies, for example, like Expedia.com. Yep. Um, and there's multiple companies. I'm not going to list them all. Yep. But they gave people more flexibility about booking hotels yep. and booking flights yep. to be able to um, plan and, and book their, their trips. Okay. And social media? And social media, we started to see the emergence of uh, companies like TripAdvisor, right. which then gave credibility mm -hmm. about uh, experiences on the ground. So people could actually rate and uh, um, with star systems and reviews right. and, and um, give some credibility about the, the travel experiences mm -hmm. that they were having. And what did that subsequently led to a different way of people traveling. So rather than sitting on a bus with 50 right. other people looking right. out the window, yep. um, experience tourism became a real sort of uh, a, right. a unique way that people wanted to travel. Okay. Um, and it gave people confidence that they could actually plan and book and enjoy their experiences themselves without having to go as part of a package tour. So that. And, it, and it's, it's difficult because there's so many different channels that an yeah. operator can sell uh, through. Um, these are not just unique at, a, at a, a global level when you talk about online travel agents, but at a country specific level, every country has their own right, the Chinese dominant platforms. Yeah, Chinese platforms like Manfungo or Sea Trip or Little Red Book. Right. Um, if you come to Korea, a lot of people get their travel inspiration through Kakao Talk, for yeah. example. Kakao so, Talk. Kakao Talk. <laughs> <laughs> So um, where we can help them is um, these, there's, a, there's over 126,000 tourism uh, experiences in Australia right? and three quarters of them are small to medium businesses right. with less than five employees. Right. So literally day after day they're running their products and they're running their experiences. Yep. So thinking about marketing to Asian tourists yep. and being able to sell their products yep. um, is, is almost like a step too far. Right. Um, so this is where um, the Insight for Asia Advisory has come, come out of yep. and we want to help them to market uh, their products. Yep. We want to help them to be able to list on these online platforms and through social media right. to then be able to um, answer some of the technical challenges yep. about how, actually how they take bookings right. and payments from Asian tourists. Okay. So I see um, there's only going to be more of these platforms coming up. There's yep. lots of B2B or B2C platforms and more online travel platforms coming yep. up every day right. um, at a regional level but also at a, at a country specific level. So we can help these tourism operators to list and to get um, distribution on these yep. platforms so that they're, they're diversifying their, their um, countries of origin. So it's not just you know, targeting Chinese consumers but being able to go across Asia on all of these different, different platforms. Cool. Thank you yeah. very much. So there we are folks, there's a great story about a changing industry and how one company is delivering value to help other people cope with that change. And If your company needs help developing your strategy story, your differentiation story, please consider dropping me a line. Uh, my phone number is underneath this and my email is underneath this. Also, June 28th, in Seoul, we're having a public workshop, storytelling for leaders. Hope you can join us for that. So thanks very much. Thanks very much, Adam. Thanks, Rod. Appreciate All it. All right, mate. And we're signing off just near Yoido in Seoul. Have a great day.